Right, so hello viewers and welcome back once again to Battle Plan, American Civil War. We're moving on to Battle 3 now, the second battle of Bull, Bull Run. And well, like before, I'll give you guys a chance to look at the briefing for this. And well, the second battle of Bull Run here was a three-day event that had uh, resulted in what was ultimately a Confederate tactical victory. So uh, just going off of this little uh, tactical plans map, what had happened was that the uh, the Union formed up and he tried to fight a tenacious campaign in trying to break through uh, Stonewall Jackson's defense over here, I believe at Stony Ridge. Unfortunately, over a period of three uh, days, they just weren't really able to do that. They they smashed that position over and over again, and ultimately, uh, the, the, the troops up there drove back from the, uh, the attackers wherever a gap was formed, and ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, reinforcements for the Confederate managed to show up and uh, effectively just beat back the Union here. So this was a historical loss for us and it looks like we start off with 21 units, we get 25 in reserve and it looks like the enemy get 19 right off the bat and 18 later on. So uh, I believe the troops up here didn't took positions A on the ridge itself and B also at this uh, unfinished railroad area here. So with that said, uh, from that little blurb, it looks like we only need to offer or hold two objectives for this mission to be considered a, can, a uh, success of sorts. So with that said, I'm going to see whether or not we can hope, uh, hold Groove, Grove Town over here and the Stone House over here. Now, the thing about it is that we want to conserve our strength, but at the same time make an attack, uh, due to the fact that, of course, we need to uh, suffer the, uh, the Union or the Confederate counterattack there. So anyhow, we'll get the uh, game going off on that note, and I think what I'll do here is that uh, this should be all infantry, I believe. We'll just do a quick check in that. Yeah, we have a ton of infantry. I don't believe we have too much cavalry, and we have a few cannons here and there, some six-pounders. Looks like some halberdsers and some uh, some more six pounders there, some supply trains and a single commander, John Pope, a three star, a three veterans uh, troop there. So uh, let's see what we can do here with our man, with our uh, supply of manpower. Now, namely, it looks like there's quite a few uh, enemies right over here, and I think what I'll start off by doing is that I'll get our guys assembled for uh, a concentrated attack in this area. Namely, I'm going to bring up guns and I'm going to see whether or not we can, say, uh, inflict some casualties there. And in the meantime, I'm going to get these cavalry units to probe the enemy lines inside this re uh, regard, coming from Henry Hill. And in the meantime, I'm going to get the guns set up at the far positions on the, uh, on the side of the hill facing the enemy. And I'm going to get all of my troops just moving forwards and in general establishing positions here and there. So we'll start off with those being our war uh, plans. Just in general and a linear advance forwards. And we'll see what we can uh, do going from there. And as you can see here, I mean the, uh, the, the time delays for those movement orders are getting actually quite hefty. And ooh, it looks like they're beginning their little counter... Uh, offensive here slightly early so we'll take advantage of this and I see the Union now rather the Confederate cavalry getting uh, rather in a particular uh, precarious location so we'll try to send some orders to the adjacent infantry units again with a long um, distance from our leader to these uh, these troops it's going to take quite a while before they move and it looks like both of these troops routed in some sort of odd display there so anyhow, hopefully we can continue nicking the, uh, the, the very side of that troop and uh, really continue doing stuff to it there. And right, our cavalry is advancing. This troop has re-rallied up. And unfortunately, from the looks of it, we have, uh, well, lost a few cavalry units in the fog of war here. Perhaps they, yeah, they're probably going into the back of our lines now. And I don't think it's worth wa wasting uh, valuable time and manpower chasing them, to be frank. 
So with that said, I'll continue probing forward, and I'll see whether or not we can um, perhaps attack the Union or the con ah, keep on getting them mixed up this uh, this episode here. Sorry, folks. Um, from a this position right here, from Matthews Hill, and from uh, Bronner's Farm here. So we'll try to launch a dual attack, uh, probably feint them on Matthews Hill here, so we can use uh, a good open area to strike and hopefully take the stony ridge like that and let's just see how well uh, this goes here oh there's actually some troops inside this area huh. all right well in that case we'll see what we can do about this alone troop belonging to archer I think we also saw this formation inside uh, Gettysburg, Ultimate General Gettysburg. They had right around, yeah, 15,000 for 1,500 men. They have 16,000 inside this game. And uh, inside that game, I mean, we were able to just absolutely devastate the, or they were, or no, we were playing as the Confederates, so we, so we were using them to, I'd say, a decent uh, job at uh, at least taking some lands in that, in that game. Hmm. Right, well anyhow, I think we'll get our units to move forwards like this. And it looks like the first uh, night portion of the game is coming up. So with that said, I'm gonna guess that the Union reinforcements are bound to show up in due time here. And I'm going to see whether or not we can perhaps make a night ridge or a, a night uh, offensive here on the sides. Now, it looks like our troops here are still fresh for battle. So with that said, I believe these troops will have lack of uh, visibility inside the night, but that's fine for our purposes. We're going to get them set up and we're going to see how well we can uh, crawl up on Stony Ridge from the flanks here. I think historically inside this battle, people were no farther than like a couple hundred yards from each other, so very, very close. And I think I see a way to uh, outflank these guys, so I'll, I'll send in the troops and we'll see what we can do here. Now, it doesn't look like these artillery guns we'll be able to shoot, unfortunately. I think they're just, uh, yeah, they don't have like their line of sight or something on them. We'll keep issue them. We'll keep a. Uh, trying to issue them commands, but I don't think they'll do uh, what we tell them to here. And ooh, yikes, our troops are breaking off. Oddly enough, they barely took any casualties though, so at least uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's actually two troops inside there. Alright, fair enough. These guys should be moving from the back, and we'll issue some commands like that. From the looks of it, these troops on the sides aren't uh, actually fighting. This one seems to be. These other ones don't seem to be, though. Ooh, yikes. Those guys are going to scatter, and they're going to run right into... Uh, those confederate troops which will apparently kill them right away so perhaps they uh, surrender or something so damn it looks like this night raid isn't uh yeah it's not gonna work out hmm that's rather unfortunate but it looks like we do have an opportunity here to open up the sides of the uh, the enemy flank here oh they're actually uh, redeploying over here yikes Right, so closer on the home front, let's send uh, our troops forward on this uh, flank now. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, and our reinforcements have arrived. So yeah, this is the re the this is the uh, Confederate reinforcements. It's quite a considerable bunch of uh, people, 
and as you can see they're bringing in Kevin cannons and in general all sorts of heavy things. We have 29 troops on the field scattered about and they have uh, 32. This is probably just a mass uh, bunch of like 20 uh, troops there. But we'll try our best to fight these guys back using these covered force positions which of course have better uh, cover ratings than what would uh, usually be there. And we'll try to take Stony Ridge here. If we can take Stony Ridge, we don't have to hold Gro Grove Ton over here. And with that said, that would be a big improvement to things, and it looks like we're just about out of time as well. Right, so I'm going to get our guys to scatter over here and reform inside this area, mainly due to the fact that these uh, bridges seem to be quite... Quite weird in the uh, the way that they transport troops over, and we'll get the uh, Union reinforcements to just slowly stream through this area. Right. In the meantime, we might as well dig a few defenses on these hills, making it a little bit harder for us for 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 them to break through there. Let's see how we're doing here. Yikes, that fight is still going on. Oh no, I didn't want to take those. Then I'm going to get this pack of three troops here to make an assault, and we'll see whether or not they can uh, hopefully make a jab at the enemy and take over Stonington Ridge there. So it would seem as though we're uh, actually holding on to Gro Groveton pretty well there. Hmm. Let's we'll see what happens, though. And there we go. Looks like we uncapped uh, Stony Ridge. We'll get our troops to move forwards in that area. And, well, it looks like, uh, yeah, battle is a draw. So we didn't necessarily lose, which is the historical result. But at the same time, it looks like we couldn't get a victory there as well. So, I guess that is the second battle of Bull Run. Looks like we took uh, slightly over the historical casualties and dealt slightly over well no never mind it's the opposite way around we we took slightly under and we dealt slightly over so that's fair enough and well i think we'll just uh leave off here once more so i'll see you guys uh back when we uh play the battle of antium so i'll see you guys then and uh like uh, like before and i'll be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already done so